that are here and I'm live on YouTube. Hello, YouTube. So we're going to do a group root chakra meditation. How does that sound? Does that sound good to you guys? I did a poll on um, a Facebook event page because I have a full chakra recalibration class coming out soon. We're actually registering for that right now. Um, it's hibiscusmoon.com forward slash full chakra, I believe. Um, anyway, I did a poll there and asked everybody what do they feel like the most out of whack chakra is right now. And actually, it was as of this morning a tie. And it was root chakra, as many of you would have expected, probably. And throat chakra too, not being able to speak our truth, um, probably from all this isolation separation. So yes, if you are interested in doing the full chakra recalibration class elective, um, deeply discounted right now, it's hibiscusmoon.com forward slash full chakra. But that's not what I came here to tell you about today. All right. So let me check. Um, we have people filing in and YouTube. Instagram is doing great. I don't know what the health of this live stream is going to be, especially since I'm simulcasting in two different places from the same internet connection. Um, because the internet's been a bit choppy. This is the new normal for live streaming now. Don't expect like the perfect stream health, um, because they are throttling different locales, um, both cable and satellite and all of that. So before we start on this, I just want to share some information. If you don't mind, I'm going to do a little cough drop here. I don't worry. I don't have any cough. I don't have it. Don't want it. I'm <laughs> just preemptively because I um, was coughing while I was talking too much before earlier and something else. So hi, Crystal Line and Magic Musicals. Good to see you. Please do me a favor and share this out if you know people who are experiencing any kind of fear, need to work on their root chakra, this is the ideal meditation to do. And it's ideal to do it as a group as well. If you've ever heard of the Maharishi effect, maybe we'll all talk about that in a little bit. Um, also, I want to share with you the Almondine Garnet. If you don't have a root chakra crystal, I'm going to show this. Almondine Garnet, bringing this out in the sunlight really shows off its beauty. It looks like a red galaxy within, and it's just an absolutely gorgeous crystal. Pretty heavy, too. So you can tap into the energy of this garnet. It's kind of like a morphed. It's not really a dodecahedron. It's like morphing between one sacred geometry and, an, and another form. And this grew natural like this, by the way. Okay. All natural. So you can, you can, um, tap into the energy of my garnet for your root chakra crystal for this. All right. So what was I going to tell you? Okay. I, like I was telling my students just a few minutes ago in our private group there, I was wondering whether I should talk about this or not publicly, but I think I'm going to just because I think we can help eliminate Pre pre preemptively eliminate a lot of fear, possible fear, if this comes to pass. So I listen to a lot of different sources, not your regular, sorry, I have a cough drop in my mouth if you're wondering what this lumpy mump is. <laughs> um, so I listen to a lot of different sources. I don't listen to the mass media very much at all as far as news goes. I don't feel it's reliable. Let's leave it at that. Um, and from one of my sources, actually from a couple different sources, so I'm not going to name anyone in particular, I heard that something that could come to pass, which might seem very scary if you weren't already forewarned about it, um, could happen. So what is it that I'm talking about? And it's really not that scary at all, as long as you know, it's going to happen. And I'm not saying it's going to happen. Okay. Okay. I'm saying that it's a possibility. I don't know if I believe it because how can I believe it until it happens? I listen to all my sources, no matter who they are, no matter how much I love them, with a grain of salt. I am always skeptical first, but I keep an open mind, okay? Skeptical with an open mind. If this doesn't happen, 
Great. That's perfect. If it does happen, you're forewarned. What am I talking about? Okay, no big deal. For three or four days, maybe, the internet and cell phones won't be able to be used. I'm hearing that 911 emergency calls will still be able to go through, but the usual internet access and cell phone access won't be accessible for three or four days. So I felt it was a good PSA to put the information out there that it could possibly happen. If it happens, be prepared. Some of you are saying you already kind of felt like that might happen. Um, and they're saying it could happen anywhere from today. And someone said earlier through the end of April. So I just felt I, I would help put the information out there. If it's misinformation, I'm not fear mongering. If it's misinformation, hallelujah, hallelujah, great, wonderful. It didn't happen. But why? I'm not going to get into speculating why. Okay. That's for the people who are putting that information out there as the sources. They are giving lots of reasons why. I don't want you to think that I'm like a fear monger or perpetuating conspiracy theories. The, the reason, whether it's true or not, that they're going to say will be to recalibrate so that we can all get on the internet and not have these streaming issues. We seem to be good right now, though. Um, that's what they're going to say is going to be the reason after it happens. Just don't be scared. Don't freak out. Lots of us have lived before without internet, right? <clears throat> Always had telephone in my lifetime, but like I was saying to my students earlier, I had a freaking landline and I loved my landline and I kicked and screamed when they took that landline away because I'm in South Florida and when we have power outages from hurricanes, it was wonderful to have a landline because it still worked and you could call everybody who had a landline. But now, even if I had a landline, it doesn't matter because no one else that I know has a landline. So I would have my landline to be trying to call people. Nobody could get my call because nobody else has a landline. But if this comes to pass, one good thing that will happen is we're all going to demand a landline again right? Because there's no good reason on earth why we shouldn't have a landline. I know this has nothing to do with crystals. I know I'm getting up on a soapbox right now. And I know I'm kind of yelling and getting, ah, we're going to calm it down and have a root chakra thing. But if this happens, if this happens, okay. And if it doesn't, we're going to laugh that I even said this, right? Please don't get mad at me. I just want you to be prepared if it happens. And then afterwards, you better give me my landline back. Okay, someone's saying, I don't have a phone, so what are we supposed to do? Well, even if you have a phone and if it goes out, you're not going to be able to use it. So who cares? So we go three or four days without a phone and without internet. We'll go deeper within. We, our community is going to get stronger for this, have the tools to support others around us, okay? We'll be fine. You will be fine, okay? Before the internet, we were fine. I feel we were better off, actually. That's what I think, my opinion, okay? And if we get our landlines back because of this, then it was good. It was a good thing, all right? So, and I'm going to be done talking about this because maybe I'm, I'm saying all this for nothing. And um, please watch the beginning because I want you to realize that I do take this information with a grain of salt. I'm always skeptical, but I keep an open mind. But I felt it was something I should tell you all about so more people are prepared in case it happens. Just be prepared. That's all. I'm a Capricorn. That's what I, I'm, I'm about being practical. Okay. So, root chakra, stone is not just garnet and we're not in this natural sunlight here. So we can't really appreciate the beautiful red glitteriness of this almondine garnet. But believe you me, when you take this out in the sunlight, it glitters like an amazing galaxy galaxy from far, far, far away in the multiverse. Like you have never, ever seen. It is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. So we're going to Calm it down now. We're going to calm it down a little bit. I'm going to just gonna check in with you guys, see what kind of questions you have before we get started. We're going to do this group meditation. The Maharishi effect. Okay, let's see if I can like talk about it off the top of my head. 
that is something they realized. And I don't remember exactly who did the meditation, but there was a group of, I believe, 7,000 people who did a group meditation. A lot of you probably know about this already. And during, I remember Bruce Lipton. No, no, no. Um, oh gosh, what's his name? Oh, okay. I remember someone first talking about it, but many, many people have talked about it. He's a Hay House author and I can't think of his name. Maybe somebody will say it. Anyway, um, he's where I first learned about this effect. And then since I've heard lots of different teachers talking about it. So there were 7,000 people. Yes, Sophia, 7,000 all meditating at the same time. And I don't remember the exact time period that they meditated for, but they did this group meditation. And during this time, it wasn't Joe, Dr. Joe Dispenza, no, but he's part of that, that little um, crew there. Um, he's been around since before Dr. Joe Dispenza. Um, he's, an, he's a geologist. He was a geologist, scientist. If you say his name, I'll know it. Okay, anyway, so... Um, during this time period of the 7,000 people meditating, they were actually able, Greg Braden, thank you, El Harbor, Greg Braden, thank you. That's who it was. Um, they were able to measure that the reported crimes and levels of violence greatly, vastly reduced during that time of meditation. So 7,000 people versus 7 billion people on planet. What percentage is that? Who's who's good at math that can figure out? Knock off the zeros, what percentage is that? So a low percentage of our population meditating in a group kind of caused a phase transition. In, in physics, a phase transition is when a small portion of something influences or entrains the rest of the something and raises the amplitude up of it. So a phase transition was measured, actually measured and witnessed throughout the planet, okay? So let's see how many people we can have meditating here right now. I know it's going to be a lot less than 7,000, but maybe we can influence the people around us to get that root chakra balanced and in alignment. And that's going to help us throughout our entire body because in case you and, and our emotional, our psychomagnetic field, our spiritual, our subtle bodies, everything. Because in case you didn't realize, the root chakra is all about keeping in check your fear, your anxieties, right? So if, it's, if your root chakra is balanced, you're going to be in general good health. You'll have a balanced immune system, of course, if you're doing everything else correctly, right? So you'll be a well-grounded person. You're going to have really good vitality. How is this sounding right now? Give me some hearts if you're liking this. And please share this out with anybody that you think could benefit from this. The more people we get into this meditation, the better it's going to work for all of us, okay? That's the goal here. You're going to feel prosperous. You're going to feel safe, stable, all right? Feelings of safety and security are going to be a no-brainer for you. You're going to feel fine, all right? I hope this microphone is working okay for Instagram people. Is it working all right? Test, 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 test. All right, so if it's unbalanced, you're going to have really poor focus, not be able to concentrate on things. Um, you're going to have anxiety, panic attacks, fe feel very fearful, um, poor discipline, chronically disorganized and hoarding things because you're fearful, right? Lots of hearts on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so you're feeling like this could be something that we need to deal with, right? And rightly so. I mean, given the times that we're dealing with right now, I'm not, I, I, I'm expecting all of us to need a good root chakra balance right now. All right. So, oh, and by the way, if you leave this to fester, the energy of this imbalance gets denser and denser and denser till it finally manifests in your physical body. All right. So, 
If that happens, the physical manifestation of your root chakra being imbalanced would be poor circulation throughout your entire body, varicose veins, because this has been in, in place for a while, okay? So before all of this coronavirus stuff started, this would be your physical manifestations. If you have any issues in your lower back, pains in your lower back, swollen hands, legs, ankles, um, water retention, dry skin and hair, constipation, that's a root chakra issue, right? All right. So let me see what you guys are saying over here. Sammy Joe, thanks for joining me over here too. I love this. Thank you. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for sharing Harmonia. All the hearts. Yes, I've been hoping to gather a meditation of peace as many as we can get together. And lots of people are doing this on YouTube. Dr. Stephen Greer did a wonderful meditation. Mark Bayerski, who I love, is doing these all the time. Um, Sevan Bomar is doing these daily. Colette Baron reed is doing some form of um, something on Facebook. I know she's been doing a lot of stuff. So lots and lots of people. And the more you can participate in all these different things from all the different people, the better. Okay? You can't do too much of it. Sophia's asking me, where did I get the geode? This one over here? Um, I got it at a wholesaler in Coral Springs, Florida. Uh, oh, I forgot the name. It's when I used to buy wholesale crystals. So I got it years ago. Jasper, red jasper is a great crystal to work with. Almondine, black tourmaline. Um, do I have hematite? I don't have hematite around. I thought I did. Um, Shungite, another good one. Red jasper is great. Wow, I have all the above physically. Okay, so Crystal, root chakra work. I'm giving you homework. You want to work on that. Okay, Instagram, what are you guys saying over here? Hi, Kathy. Jinjin's over here on Instagram. Good to see you here too. Okay, so let's get into the meditation. Um, have you shared this out with, I know YouTube, you guys are doing great sharing. Thank you so much. There's a lot of people here on YouTube live on Instagram. Are you guys sharing this out? I know there's a lot of people doing lives right now, which is great. Also, oh, working out. Okay. Whether you like to exercise or not, do a lot of exercising right now, because that is great for your root chakra. And it's great for all of this, all of this stuff. Lots of hearts happening on Instagram. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. Also, there's a lot of people doing workouts, free workouts. Um, who is one that I, I like to follow? Rockstar. Betty, Betty Rocker. Betty Rocker on Instagram and Facebook. She's doing free workouts all the time. Tap in. Lots of people are doing amazing stuff that you can tap into and use you. Oh, oh, okay. Let me tell you about a really good podcast. Again, I don't follow everybody hook, line and sinker just because I'm recommending them to you. Doesn't mean that everything that they say is something that I agree with. Okay. It's just a good resource. And I really liked a lot of the stuff that he was saying. I didn't listen to every single minute, but, um, Luke story has a great podcast. Just look up Luke's story anywhere you listen to podcasts and listen to his coronavirus podcast. Good one. Lots of good tips. While he's still, you know, putting out good energy out there, being loving and humble about it. And also, he says the same thing. He takes a lot of the information he gets with a grain of salt. But be prepared. Be smart. Be skeptical. Keep an open mind especially if you're listening to that podcast. All right. So let's focus in on a crystal. If you have a root chakra crystal that you want to meditate with now, wonderful. If you would rather focus in on this one here, this almondine garnet, then just get a visual of that in your mind. And we're going to focus in on that. Okay. Okay. Go somewhere where you can be comfortable right now. If you need to come back and do this later, that's fine. But try to be in a place where you're not going to be disturbed, where you can either lie down, preferably, and then place that stone right up near your root chakra. If you prefer, you can just hold it in your left hand, which is your receiving hand. Okay, so totally up to you. 
Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. Breathe in, exhale. And then on your next inhale, make it a longer intentional one. Hold it as long as comfortable and then gently exhale it out. And then notice wherever you might be holding any tension in your body and send that area, your intentions for simply releasing and relaxing that area. So just do a body scan, both feet and legs and hips, up through your root chakra, up your torso. Is there any tension? And breathe that tension out through your mouth, and your shoulders, your neck, your arms, your elbows, your hands. Check in with your jaw. All the way up your scalp. Maybe you even feel it tingling. And feel yourself just letting go of any emotional or physical tension right now. And continue to breathe in deeply. And exhale fully. You can do an audible sigh on your next exhale. And feel your body relaxing with every breath that you take. Relaxing deeper and further. And if you notice that you have any persisting fear-based thoughts, just simply acknowledge them and send them down to the earth, down your spine, through your root chakra, beyond your feet, through the earth, through the soil, down, 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 down to the crystal that is at the center of the earth. And send that fear-based thought or thoughts all the way down to be recycled by the energies there in the center of the planet. Deep inhale and exhale. Keep in mind that you are a perfect being of source, source energy. You don't need to add anything to feel complete, to feel comfortable. Feel your root chakra. Be aware of it and feel that root chakra there at the base of your spine, right where your tailbone is. Breathing in and out very deeply. And as you breathe out, on your next exhale, with that exhale, breathe out any tension or pain that you might feel in your body. If you notice that your mind begins to drift away, just gently bring your attention back to your breath. We're just feeling the breath right now. It's okay if your mind wanders, that's natural, that happens. You're not doing anything wrong. Just like a little child that runs off for a second, just gently bring it right back. And feel your breath. That's all you need to do right now is just feel your breath. And on our next inhale, we're going to draw the earth's energy up from that central earth crystal all the way up through the layers of our planet and up through our root chakra into our body. And feel this energy at the base of your spine and feel it rotating like a stable, gentle fan, gently spinning, slowly, spiraling energy through your root chakra. Don't concern yourself with the direction, just feel the spin. See if you can sense that gentle motion. 
And now see if we can visualize the energy of this chakra as a deep garnet red light glowing and rotating gently at the base of your spine. That deep ruby red garnet gentle glow Notice the color, the energy, the vitality of your root chakra. If you notice any dark areas in or around your chakra, it's normal. You're going to dissipate them away with the earth's energy that we're gathering up from the earth's core coming through from below. It's going to dissipate that dark area away, clean it, cleanse it, clean it out. Don't be alarmed. You may feel or notice a dark cord going to or from the root chakra. This can happen. Just simply send red light through that cord and sever the cord with the red light from the earth's core. You're cutting the cord and you can silently say to yourself, I allow this red light frequency to cleanse clear, release out any fears or worries about my health and finances, to undo any negative thoughts throughout space and time. And you can feel the relief of the cords being cut if you're doing that right now. And now visualize your root chakra as clear and vibrant. See and feel how it spirals and glows with this ruby red glowing light, like a sparkling garnet spinning slowly. This chakra is your place of security, state, safety, stability, and courage. Your chakra, visualize it now as balanced and flowing unencumbered and so it is it is now balanced and flowing with vitality and say silently to yourself I am in perfect health And money flows easily and frequently to me. I am in tune with my deepest sense of belonging. I am safe and all of my needs are met at every moment. I am rooted in life and in myself. I am stable, safe, and secure.
you know, visualize that chakra cleansed and balanced with that gentle vortex. And slowly bring your awareness away from that chakra and keeping your eyes closed back to where you are using other senses other than sight. Perhaps listen to your surroundings. Use your sense of touch with your fingers to gently touch your surroundings around you. Feel the air on your arms, feel the air on your face, eyes are still closed. Wiggle your toes and your fingers if you're able to. And when you feel ready, open your eyes and rejoin us in the chat. And let us know how you're feeling, how that meditation was. And hopefully we ripple that out with everybody else who joined us. How are you doing, guys? Just amazing, great, feels good, awesome. Great. Instagram, how are you guys feeling? Okay, so we want more people to participate and this goes through space and time. So if you felt this was of value to you and beneficial to you, please share it out so other people can participate in this as well. Let me see what you're saying. Peaceful, wow, thank you for that. Back feels better, wonderful, much better, lovely, thank you. That is powerful. Root chakra work is powerful, everyone. It is. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of thank yous. Thank you for being here and joining me for this. I don't know. My, my, I think my stream on Instagram is kind of weird. I'm seeing hearts, but not the comments. Unless it's going in the other direction. No, I think it's going this way. Lots of activity on YouTube. I see you guys. Okay. Here we go. Oh, okay. Back feels better. Back feels better. A lot of that in Instagram. Okay. I see the comments now. Refreshing. Fantastic. The garnet in my left hand is on fire. So hot. Oh, you really connected with that one, Stephen. Absolutely. Sammy Joe said refreshing. Sophia says YouTube isn't really working. Is the YouTube feed not, not working so well? I'm seeing good stream health here on my end. So it might be on your end, guys. This is our new normal with the live streams, right? This is what we have. Okay, so Instagram says it's delayed. Some of you are watching on both platforms, I think. Cool. All right. Feeling peaceful. Thank you. It's hard to share this because everyone is so materialistic and anti-spiritual. I have to disagree with that. I think it depends on the company that you keep. Um, our crystal family doesn't feel that way to me. Okay, Claire says YouTube is fine. Jessica, hi, Jessica. She's our moderator here. Thank you for being here. She says it's fine here. So if you are experiencing something, it might be your local um, internet throttling. See, this is what I'm talking about. I want, this is not the shutdown, okay? This, and I'm not saying the shutdown is going to happen for sure. But do you feel better equipped to handle something like that now that you've done a good root chakra balance? Okay, everybody, I am going to end this. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and share it. Thank you for joining me here. Oh my gosh, bursts of hearts happening. Thank you, SJC on Instagram. Thank you all on YouTube. I'll probably put this on Facebook too so we can share it out with some people there. And, and I want to just help people feel more secure and um, less fearful and kind of so we can do something here. Our community can do something to quell the anxiety. You almost fell asleep. That's a good thing. Sleep. If you're almost falling asleep during a meditation, that means your body really needs it, is really calling for it. And especially during these times, enough sleep is a huge immune booster. It's one of the best things you can do. So if you feel sleepy, go sleep. Go to sleep. Just like your parents used to yell at us, go to sleep. I'm not yelling at you. I'm just, you know, I think it's funny. I, I, I always think of that Bethany Frankel. There's a meme of her, go to sleep. 
<laughs> I just think it's hysterical. It was really great spending time with you too, the green woman. Thank you so much. I see people laughing about that. Yeah. I I'm telling you in a very grandmotherly sweet way, if you're feeling sleepy, go to sleep. If you need it, do it. Your body is calling for it. Sophia did fall asleep. Okay, and then turn off your Wi-Fi while you sleep. I do it. I've got mine on a timer. Night, night. No Wi-Fi while I'm sleeping. Absolutely not, which means my phone gets turned off. My, my. well, I don't really have a landline, but it's like hooked up to the internet. Why am I telling you this? All right, anyway, you guys don't care. I'm going to go. So bye, YouTube. I'm going to end this right now for you all. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. And Instagram, I got to figure out how to turn.